this is why people accuse vegans of being in a cult and veganism of being a cult. <laughs> All that this displays is the general population's lack of definitional knowledge. Veganism doesn't even come close to matching the definition of a cult. Veganism has nothing to do with religion, nor do we have any sinister or violent motives. Well, most of us don't. Our only motives are to get people to realize why eating meat is wrong when you don't have to. Calling veganism a cult is just a gross mischaracterization. Because you literally destroy someone's self-interest and give them your group identity. Alright, two problems here. One, why does someone's self-interest trump what is morally, nutritionally, and environmentally superior? Since when are we expected to be tolerant of horrendously immoral acts? And two, how do you conclude that vegans seek to induct people into our group identity? I personally don't even agree with operating on group identity. Individual identity is much more important to me and I would suspect to most vegans. I mean, do you honestly believe that most vegans identify as a vegan before anything else? It may be a funny meme, but I think we identify as ourselves and then veganism is just a belief that we have secondary to ourselves. In moments, they completely destroy their individuality and give them group identity, which is not more important. Yes, I agree. Group identity is not important. But vegans don't try to destroy individuality. There's a huge range of personalities within the vegan community. We're nowhere near the same. You make it going vegan sound like being assimilated by the Borg. <laughs> Now the goal of this group identity reconstruction is to turn the new vegan into an ideological mouthpiece of moral superiority and presuppositions that just go along with being vegan. Ideological mouthpieces, feelings of moral superiority, and presuppositions are character traits that a vegan individual could inherit. They're by no means tied to veganism. You are the one treating veganism like a group identity, the way you paint all of us with the same brush. I would suspect that less than half of vegans are actually this way. I don't go around espousing an ideology or feeling morally superior or making presuppositions about people without talking to them first. I treat them like an individual, the way that we should be treated as well. What happens next is, I think, even more detestable. Over time, that person that has now been inculcated into the group identity of veganism has various a priori structures and presuppositions. Feel free to name any of the alleged presuppositions and how you gather that most vegans have them. When vegans debate, we don't assume everything about the other person's life off the bat. We ask them targeted questions in order to gather information about how they think and what they believe intermingle in this new demented value structure that isn't quite a whole picture. Veganism is a demented value structure? <laughs> it sounds like you personally have a bad experience with vegans or vegan activists, huh? Our value structure is that things that can experience suffering and things that can experience well-being deserve to be treated well. Would you care to walk me through how that is demented? Then those other ideological presuppositions that sort of intermingled into the original one then permeate out of the individual into the group, creating just unbelievable political orthodoxy. In layman's terms, he's saying that vegans form a hive mind of dogma, such that any trace of individuality is destroyed and replaced. This is simply not true. And this is really where I think the root problem is with veganism. I would say that the real root problem is infighting within our community. There's too much argumentation about which way we should be going about converting people. Some people believe in being passive doormats, while others believe in activism. The truth is that veganism benefits most from having multiple approaches. Having multi-vectored approach styles allows for the most people to be converted. I don't subscribe to the idea of conforming to one single approach. So, my argument is, it is wrong 
to make an ethical argument to someone and reconstruct them into a vegan. It is wrong to make an ethical argument to a serial killer and attempt to reconstruct them into a normal human being. Do you see why this makes no sense? You can make the ethical argument that it is immoral to kill and eat animals, period, regardless of circumstance. You can make that argument, but you cannot then take that argument and push it all the way to the other side in the point of conversion in a cult-like religious act. There you go again with the false terminology. If becoming a vegan means that you are overall a better person, which if all else had constant, it does, then why is that a wrong thing to do? That's wrong. And that's where I think the biggest fault of vegans is right now. It is not the biggest fault. I would say that it's a fault that doesn't even exist. You've provided zero evidence for your claims, and you've also used a bunch of faulty characterizations of veganism. Activism is not a bad thing. I doubt veganism would be where it is without activism. And that's really all I have to say about this.